Guys, turning here, and today I'm gonna be doing more of a plugin review, I guess, because uh, you can't really. I mean, there's not a lot to set up on this plugin because it it doesn't add a lot, but what it adds is kind of a really big thing in my opinion. So what it does is it pretty much allows you to put colors on items through an anvil. So when you rename an item in an anvil, it allows you to put like color, use color codes on that item. Uh, and you can set up for permissions, so you can make it like a donator feature, or you could by default it's enabled to everybody. But anyway, you're just going to want to download it right here, like every other plugin, and then put it in your server folder. Like, this is the configuration, so it should be a really quick video. Um, nothing crazy. Oops, not OBS. Let's go to test server. And once you have it downloaded, I already put it in my plugins folder, just to make sure it's there. And then you're going to want to start your server. And mine is starting slowly oh, I forget it. I forgot I had to fix the spawn area okay local host what the heck <laughs> okay I don't know why my skin is messed up but anyway so let me I think I'm already opt so let me go into game mode one let me just I'll set this up really quick so it's an anvil Let's put an anvil right there, and we'll get some items. So let me actually, we'll go back and look at the configuration really quick. So let me save all, and stop. But you go to uh, colored anvils folder, and you just go to the config.yml. Open a notepad, and this is the configuration. So use permission pretty much means if by false, everybody can use all the... Uh, like can do all the colors in the anvil and they can do it um, use permission if not changing name uh, I think that means it's explained right here uh, where is it at right here but I think it means if like somebody doesn't have the permission node that will just and they're changing it like and they have an item that's colored and they want to change the name it'll revert it back to regular I'm not sure though so don't quote me on that one uh, the filter enabled is pretty much the filter so if I enable this to show you it works, and I put like hello, I won't be able to put anything hello, so we'll just put hello, and then, um, let's see, oh yeah, okay, sorry, if you use permissions for true, you can give players like the certain color code permissions, so if you just want to have, if you just want to give like donators like red, for instance, which, I mean, I don't know why you would, but you can give code colored anvils dot color dot and then the color code so all the color codes you can use and I'm pretty sure formatting codes work as well or I mean uh, the uh, like the underscore the bold that stuff you get the gist so anyway I pretty much edited that that's all you have to do that's very simple and then just go back and start your server again mine is loading there we go and then you just start the server and I'll make this full screen and let me switch over to game view. There we go. So now if I put the anvil in the okay, I need um need some lapis. I forget they changed that. Wouldn't it be cool if like you could store lapis in an in or in an anvil now? Or an enchantment table. I don't know why I keep saying anvil. So if I put this in here. Oh my god. Okay guys, that was the newbiest thing I ever did. You don't pretend I did not do that. Um I kept saying anvil and then I said Enchantment table for some reason. Okay, so now, <laughs> now I could rename items. So let's do, let's make it, and we'll test if we can use color codes or uh, formatting codes as well. So we'll do and, um, what's cyan? I don't know. We're gonna do, we're gonna do three, just cause I don't know what that is. And we're gonna do and l diamond. Sword. There you go. So now it's a bold diamond sword. Now, if you have a like chat plugin that will display the item when you kill somebody, it'll... okay. It'll, if it will display the item like when you kill somebody, it will say diamond sword. If you use like the item name, I'm pretty sure it supports that. So now I'll do one more, just to kind of show you. If that didn't show you, so I use a bow, and I name it. Uh, let's just do and four and l. God, bow, and I'll put like some weird characters at the end of it. There we go. It's not a god bow. 
and uh, can I hit it? Can I hit it? Nope. I suck. Okay, I gotta hit this now. Oh, that's way too high. I don't know where I'm aiming. There we go. Oh, one hit. Oh, maybe they made the bows more powerful now. I don't know. Okay, but anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was like, that's the whole tutorial or the whole kind of tutorial slash review. So if you enjoyed it, I mean, like, subscribe, definitely check out the plugin. I mean, I would definitely use it on your server because I think it just adds like a little, little thing to it that makes it, I don't know, it just makes it nice. It's kind of cool that you can, that players can kind of add their own colored names. Of course, it could kind of get out of control. I mean, you might have to limit to it. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's all for your server. So anyway, I keep saying that. That's the third time, but I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.